What's going on everyone? Jake here. Um, so I haven't uh, made a video in a few days here, uh, mainly just because I've been pretty busy running around and uh, on the 4th, I hope everyone had a good 4th of July, but uh, on the 4th uh, me and a couple buddies went uh, screwing around and uh, I ended up uh, spraining my ankle pretty bad, so uh, I've been in bed for about four days trying to let that heal, but Today, I, you know, I just couldn't stand anymore. I can't, I, I'm not one to just, you know, sit around and do nothing. I got to get out of the house and be working on something or doing something or else I just, I just go crazy. So today I had to get out and um, I went and picked up a new project, which I will show to you now. So here it is. This is a, I'm guessing, 60s or 70s Volkswagen dune buggy body. And it's sitting on a 91 Jeep Wrangler chassis and drivetrain and everything. It's got the 4.0 with a 5-speed stick, 4-wheel drive. And this thing, what's funny about this is when I was living uh, in the next town over, uh, I lived over there for about a year and a half or so. And I drove by and saw this thing in the parking lot of a factory and was like, what in the world is that thing? So I, I have a picture of this thing back from, you know, probably three, four years ago. Um, so I've, I'd seen it before. But anyways, so I go over, uh, so I'll show you in uh, another video here, but I got another, another project from a guy. And I went over and made that deal. And he said he had this thing and I knew exactly what it was as soon as I saw it. I uh, was sitting out back. He acquired it from, uh, it was a friend of his that built it and owned it and drove it. And, uh, you know, I asked if he, if we wanted to make a deal on this. And uh, so I went, came home, took, took some pictures of some things and sent to him. And uh, we made a deal, you know, on a trade. And I just today went and picked it up. So uh, it's pretty, pretty crazy looking thing. I'll show you up in here. It's got... Uh, three-point harnesses for the seats and uh, the steering wheel it's got a, a thing on it you push and it goes on and off it's easier to get in and out with the steering wheel pulled off and it's got it's fully street legal it's got a uh, assembled roadster title so you can, it can be driven on the road it's got mirrors all the lights work everything um, let's say four-wheel drive I'll climb up in here <clears throat> it's pretty small the seats are uh, they need to go back some because I as you can see I'm pretty cramped in this thing but yeah, it's all obviously all custom built pretty interesting so uh, let me start it up for you Seems to run really well. It's got good oil pressure. And say all the turn signals, brake lights, headlights, everything. Everything works on it. It's even got a horn. I'm not sure what this does. It it goes down, and you can pull it back out. I didn't ask him what it was. Uh, so I'll have to message him and ask him what that's for. But, yeah, five-speed stick, so it's pretty fun to drive. I I just drove it on the trailer, but I mean, just from driving on the trailer, I can tell it's going to be fun to drive down the road. So yeah, and then in the back, we hop back out of this thing. My dog is barking her head off. It's got uh, pretty much brand new tires on it, the guy just put on. The gas tank's in the back here. He built this custom box for cargo and whatnot. It's got a tow hitch on it, although I don't know if I'd really want to tow very much with it. And there's a bag of knives. That's interesting. So I think... Oh. 
is some ants. An ant convention. I don't know what's in here. I haven't looked in here yet. This opens up. You can see the gas tank down there. I'm gonna get ants on me now. Oh. Okay, so there's some wiring stuff in here. And also a mouse. Mouse hangout. Uh, I'm getting ants all over my hand. Okay, so. Mice are gonna have to find a new home. And so are the ants. Get off of me. And I'll latch that back in a minute. But, anyways, yeah, that's, that's all that is. It's got a. Uh, 60s Mustang tail lights in it. I don't know why there's four. Uh, figure that out. I don't know if like the bottom ones are brake lights and the top ones are turn signals or what the deal is. I gotta figure that out as well. But yeah, that's really uh, that's all there is to it. I want to uh, be really cool to do with it is uh, put a lift on it. Lift it up, lift it up real high, and uh, put some swamper tires on it, and uh, take it to the mud bog. It'd be kind of cool. Also, this front, this whole front of this thing opens up too. I guess I'll show that to you, so you can access the engine and stuff. So there's your your motor and all your wiring fuses. All that good stuff. Mm. Pretty neat. It's kind of funny, I, you know. I says I have a picture of this thing when the previous owner owned it and was driving it, and uh, they put it together in 2016. So it's been a few years, but yeah, I never would I have thought that I would have ended up with it. <laughs> So, yeah, but that's it. So there you go. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, leave a comment if you got some ideas, you know, what I should do with it or to it. And say I don't know uh, if I'm going to keep it or if I'm just going to try and sell it, you know, just flip it quick or, you know, I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. Um, but, yeah, if, smash that like button if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe and have a good one.